doing a little demo with Flexcrete to restore a concrete surface that's got some voids, some chips, some missing areas, and we're going to demo a small area here um, with Flexcrete, and we're going to broadcast sand into the top of it to give it a, uh, a nice new concrete finish. So just put a, a coat of Flexcrete on the top of this about two days ago. It's been cold. It was cold when we applied it. It's been 20, 30 degrees ever since. Now we're just going to test the strength of the bond, strength of the material, and uh, see how it performs. We dragged the tooth of the bucket through the flexcrete and cut into the concrete. And that's just a real skim coat of flexcrete there. And it cut a clean line down there. It didn't flake, it didn't, the bond didn't release anything. And this was very smooth concrete we put it on. It's kind of a blend of uh, different areas. It had some chips in it here and there, but I wanted to test it in this environment because it's not a real rough surface for it to bond to. And it's still holding up really well. So the top of the concrete actually came off and Flexcrete is still bonded with it so we've actually exceeded the strength of the concrete with the bond. So again you see Flexcrete's not failing, it's actually the concrete below it that's failing. And our skim coat over the top is still holding on nice and strong. Here's another test patch of Flexcrete. quite an impact you probably aren't going to see in a normal situation, but it doesn't even affect the top of it. All that is is discoloration from hitting it with the bucket. Bucket, so you can see how much pressure he actually puts on it. Actually moving the machine. He's got a lot of weight on that. He's still not even through the flex crate yet. That's the concrete that broke there and took our flexcrete off with it. But even the edge there held up pretty good.